citizens of the internet, welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeller. And I'm Jeff Kanata, and today is Headlines Day. And of course, because it's today, we have to start the show talking about hollow portation. Microsoft uploaded a video showing off the HoloLens demo late last week, describing it on their dev blog as, quote, a new type of 3D capture technology that allows high-quality 3D models of people to be reconstructed, compressed, and transmitted anywhere in the world in real time, unquote. Could this be the future of video call apps like Skype and Hangouts? I think it might be. This is, this is Mike TV is what this is. This is pretty awesome. Am I coming in clear? I said, am I coming in clear? That's my, uh, if, uh, kids, ask your parents what Willy Wonka is. You're your it's grandparents. Really... <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, it is a little tiny Mike TV, and then he shows up in your living room. It's amazing. So cool. I'm excited about it. I want a uh, holographic, I mean, it's, it's Star Wars. It's any kind of, it's holograms that you can talk to. It's really good stuff. Uh, speaking of really good stuff, yeah. Autodesk has a very interesting 3D printing array that is going to enable people to print really big stuff. Project Escher is a network of 3D printers designed to print different pieces of the same item at the same time, meaning it could print something large and complicated in a much shorter amount of time than printing out one part at a time. The software for Project Escher splits up the plans into little slices and then gives each slice its own 3D print station that is part of an array. So each slice gets printed all at the same time and at the end, the result is a fully completed piece. So they talk about printing, you know, rotors and all sorts of really big things, even 3D printing a car. But then I gotta put it together. Well, no, it's all done. I know, but it's in pieces. No, no. You got they, pieces of a thing. Like they like really big pieces of stuff, and then it's like much less than, you know, just printing these sort of small things one at a time. Yeah. And it's really neat because you can they said you can scale this huge. You can make 50 3D printing bots that are all part of the same array, all printing something at the same time. That's pretty amazing. I especially kind of like incredible. the fact that you can, it, it will cut the printing time down because you, you're do, using multiple printers all, all at once. Yeah, they said 80 to 90 percent efficiency improvement. Which uh, which oh, story man. should we talk about on Thursday? Because hollow portation feels it's really cool. Yeah. It's really futuristic. But I feel like there might be actually more to futuristic like items and technology in the 3D printing story. All right. I will, I will go with your 3D printing story, but I want to be hollow porting immediately, if not sooner. Guys, get out your hollow lenses. Clearly, we all have them. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> Only 30K for a hollow lens. Only a billion dollars. Uh, if you guys want to talk about what we talk about on the show, feel free to use the hashtag HateTD. Yeah, if you've got a comment about printing large things and you want to be involved in our conversation, we'd love to incorporate what you say into our discussion on Thursday, so they use that hashtag. It'd be great. Yeah. Tell us what massive thing you would 3D print with a giant 3D printing array from Autodesk using yeah. Project Escher, because I'm really curious as to what you guys come up with. Me? I, I would 3D print a hollow portation device. Well, giant robot. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> I would just make a 100-foot tall version of Genghis. That's literally <laughs> what I would do. Uh, all right, guys, let's talk about our phone talker for the day. Today's photographer of the day is Aiden, who took this on his iPhone 5S, and it looks like he used a little panorama mode. Yeah, it's pretty delightful. He's, he wrote to us and said, Hi guys, I am Aiden. I love your show. I took this picture while skiing in northern Minnesota on my iPhone 5S, and I totally give you permission to use it in the show. And that was, uh, this looks like a winter wonderland, even though it is almost April. Yeah, looks untouched, freshly Freshly dropped snowpack. Yeah, I bet all those people in the lifts are excited. Yeah. They're like, oh, I'm going to get up there and I'm going to ride down the hill. How often do you use the pano effect? I, I like it a lot, but it's hard to look at them on my phone. I have to download them to a computer or something. Yes. I, I, it's very hard to look at on your phone, and then, but I always like to use it in situations like that where it's so clean, like mm. a really nice clean panoramic shot. There's few things better. I agree. Well you, done, Aiden. Yeah, high fives. If you want to send in your photography, it's tomorrow at CNET.com. Yeah, that's uh, where you send it in. Make sure you tell us what device you took it on. Give us permission to use it on the show. Tell us a little story about why you took that particular photo, because we love hearing about that stuff. Yeah, honestly, we might start doing themes. We get so much photography. Oh. We might have to set up some like themes for the month. We could do a, a photographer collage of the day. Yeah, it would be kind of fun, where we'd be like, okay, the theme of this month is selfies. Like, show us your best selfie or whatever. Nice. So 
send, that's a, yeah, actually, email that's a us. Pandora's box you don't want to open. It really is. Uh, send us your ideas for themes for photography because That'd I be cool. I actually think we could we could we gotta up everyone's game because they're also it's too good. good. You're saying they're also good. Yeah. Uh, that is it for today's show. We will be back tomorrow with a brandy jacket of science fact meeting science fiction coming together like ET and Elliot. Oh no. <laughs> Kids ask your parents. That's right. Until then. <laughs> be good humans. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>